Before this video starts guys, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell and feel free to join Castaway as a member. Hey guys, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how, well, a quick way to just quickly make a SIG for you guys. A lot of people have been asking me how to make a SIG, and a lot of people ask me to show them on Photoshop, so I just thought I'd make a quick tutorial, but basically, you start off by the dimensions of 500 by 200, then go and get yourself a PNG of the player you want. This is going to be very, very quick, guys, so just in case, you might want to slow the video down if you want to miss, if you might miss some bits, but you'll put your PNG in, you'll stick them to the size you want them. I always recommend having the player quite big, so he takes up a lot of space, it makes a lot less empty room in the uh, in the signatures themselves and in my opinion they look better the next thing I will go and do and not everyone does this but is I'll go and grab a stadium in the background of mine remember guys this is my kind of design so don't just go necessarily copying this and making them for other people on the site mainly because that's against the rules and don't just go copying other people's designs because that's just not the way about it this is just to show you an idea of how you can make a sig what I'll do is I'll make that black and white and then I'll make the background a sort of color that I want it on this one here I wanted to make two backgrounds I wanted to make the right yellow and the left blue kind of to match the Arsenal kit as you can see there the new Arsenal bruise banana kit uh, there so I got the yellow that I wanted and then basically what I'll go and do is I'll add a bit of motion blur to that just to blur the background out in a bit uh, and just make it look a bit nicer in my opinion and I'll go and copy this over I'll make a new layer uh, here and I'll centralize that in that part of the layer there uh, I'll delete that background and I'm going to go and make this side blue just by adjusting the hue and saturation I'll be able to get a similar blue just by fiddling around with this bit uh, as to what I want which I did manage to get there it did not take too long uh, for me to get that there the next thing I'll do is go and duplicate the player layer and I'll just uh, make that a bit of a motion blur as well behind just so it gives a bit of an effect behind the player as you can see there it just makes him look stand out a little bit more I'll add a new layer on top of that and I'll grab black and add a faded paintbrush and I'll just paint a little uh, shadow onto this and then I'll go and make this a little bit more opaque or see-through uh, for some of you guys there and uh, that just adds a bit of shadow on it and I'll do the same sort of thing but over the player uh, I'll do it at the top of the screen there as you can see and I'll also make a new layer and do it on top of the the right hand side of the player just so you can see where the lights coming down onto him a little bit this won't really be too visible but it will be a lot more it is there it's kind of hard to see when you're doing it but you you know it's there if you've done it and in my opinion it just makes it look that a little bit nicer uh, there as well the next thing that i will go and do is i'll go back onto google and i'll type in uh effects png and you'll find a load of effects on this you can find some good stuff to do on here but basically the sort of thing i want is like a dust effect or something like that and uh, this is something i use quite a lot in my work as you probably have seen if you've ordered anything or if you've seen my store uh, and basically i'll just go and grab one of the png i'll quickly save that there and i'll go and paste it in the next thing i'll do is i'll just make that a decent enough size i probably will change this in a minute anyway but basically i'll make that a decent size i'll change the color of it as you can see here this side i'm going to make yellow and the other side i'm going to make blue first of all i'll just copy them both over here uh, make them the top layer so there's no shadow on top of them and the first one I'll just select similarly yellow to that maybe make it a bit more see-through there move it over happy days and then on the right hand side I'll do the same but make it uh, blue on that side more blue to match the color of the kit but as long as it looks decent as well that would do there and then uh, basically what I'll do is I'll just make that a little bit bigger uh, no, I won't make it bigger actually. I'll instead of doing that, I'll duplicate it, uh, add another one on there, as you can see, and it just makes it look a bit higher quality. And then I can just hold it on there, and I'll go and do the same on the other side. And as you can see, some of it's overlapping the player. What I'll do is I'll go and grab a, a rubber, and I'll just quickly rub out. Uh, a little bit of it, but still that some of it's overlapping, only a little bit of it though, uh, and that is how that's going to look. The next thing that I would do on some uh, signatures, not all of them, but this one I will do it on, so I'm going to add a border. Uh, one way to add a border is to uh, go and grab a certain amount of pixels. I normally do a two pixel border, as you can see here, it does show three, but I'll make it a bit smaller uh, just here as well. So then I'll go and basically duplicate that, and I'll put that around all four sides uh, of the screen here. There are probably quicker ways of doing it. This is just the way I like to do it, because I know it's right, and uh, I can then play around with uh, if I wanted to change each side, I can then play around with that as well. But on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make them all white and then I'm going to turn down the opacity after merging all the layers here as you'll be able to see and that just adds a cool little border onto that there nothing too much and uh, that is basically quite simple almost done now just have to add the text i'll change the font to one that i want to use for it uh, and i'll be pretty happy with that and then what i'll do is i'll make it bigger and i'll add a bit of drop shadow and then i'll duplicate the layer and i'll uh motion blur the background of the layer just so there'll be a bit of white uh background uh, on the back there as you can see i added the drop shadow duplicate the layer and then i'll add a bit of motion blur to that background layer and then basically i might go and add a few effects on some other softwares afterwards to make it look a little bit better but that is basically the simple just to make it a sig that took me about six and a half minutes to make uh, i sped it up a bit 
and overall this is going to look about four minutes but this is what it looks like when it is finished uh, as you can see there sorry about the background in general it just does look a bit dodgy but that's how it'll look like when it's finished hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you have a like share this about to anyone you know that wants to make signatures and about that and i'll see you in the next video peace